In last week's episode, I talked about a, a session I attended inside a virtual business summit and how I overlaid it on the self-storage industry. Let me dovetail off that today and talk about one more session I went to. The two things we need to do to stay relevant for the next upcoming year. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Quick Start Academy. And what I do is I support the small investor who wants to get in the self storage business or who wants to grow their self storage business, strategically do so in a way that creates true wealth and a fulfilling career. And you can find out more about how I can support you at Creating Wealth Through Self Storage. Com. But I attended a virtual business summit, and again, I like to do that because very often if all we attend is storage summits and storage conventions, we just hear each other's echoes all the time. I like to see what other businesses and, uh, and business consultants are saying about doing business and then try to extrapolate out of that stuff that we can use in the storage industry. And I intended a very interesting session called the two things you need to do to stay relevant in the upcoming year in your business. And these are not new things, but they're new approaches. And I talked last week a lot about mindset and thinking and how I think as storage owners, we've got to modify our mindsets and how we relate to business in the storage industry. And I think it's very true with what we're going to talk about today. Now, as we are going over this, we're in a pandemic. It's uh, every state right now. It's fall 2020, every state. There's not one state where the number of cases of COVID-19 are going down. Everybody's spiking. Uh, it's going up and people are uh, have COVID fatigue and they're waiting for a vaccine thinking that's the going to be the holy grail. Well, in my humble opinion, vaccine's going to be helpful, but sure ain't going to stop anything immediately. You'll still be wearing masks. You'll still be social distancing. And it's going to take a while for this pandemic to quiet down. I don't know if things will ever quite go back to normal. There might not be as many cases and outbreaks as there are today and deaths, but I think for the immediate future, we ought to be counting on that 2021 is going to look a lot like 2020. But here's what was said in that session. The two things that will really keep your business relevant over the next year or so are going to be innovation and marketing. Now, I invite you to, th when we hear the word innovation, particularly in the storage industry, what we're thinking of is tech. What we're thinking of is doors now that don't have the old fashioned latches and locks on them. And we're thinking about, oh, kiosks and uh, managerless offices and all that's great. But I invite you to consider and think about innovation more like a mindset than tech. Now, I don't want to get into a lot of the details on the tech. I've got other episodes and there's a lot of other vendors and providers that can talk about specific ways to innovate probably better than I can right now. But as a business owner, here's how I invite you to think about innovation is how can I improve every aspect of the customer experience as they do business with me today. I mean, that might look like how many clicks does it take to rent a unit? Is it easier to buy an airline ticket or get a hotel room than rent a storage unit from us? How easy is it for someone seeing something on a Google search to get to picking a unit that works for them? How easy is it for a customer to pay today? If I don't have a manager in the office all the time like the old days, or if they can't talk face to face with a manager in person, how easy for someone to pay if they show up and their gate code doesn't work? And 
all of those, in my opinion, that's innovation, where you're constantly tweaking and making the customer experience better and better and better. Now, some of that may require tech, much of it won't. Look, the days of building a great looking facility, putting up a sign, putting a manager in the office, and sitting back and waiting for that thing to rent up, those days are gone if they were ever here in the first place. Those days are gone. As small business owners and small storage owners, we're competing with some very sophisticated players very often in our markets. And we've got to be relevant. We've got to be current on what the marketing trends are and what customers are expecting in our sub-market and we've got to be showing up where customers are looking and showing up in a way that makes our facilities relevant and they'll come to us because we've got in most cases a very short window you know seconds or less to get a potential customer's attention my relationship is nothing I'm going to do is going to create demand. Our job is to capture the attention of people with demand when they're looking. Again, innovation is not technology. Innovation is how can I better meet my customers' needs today. It may require some technology. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a mindset, an innovative mindset. Again, as I talked about last week, ask better questions. You want a better business? Ask better questions. So I invite you to consider creating for yourself this year, especially the last part of this year as we plan for 21, how can I innovate my self storage business to better meet my customers needs based on how the world is today and the second item that was discussed in this session is marketing now at the end of the day since business has been around and capitalism has been around at the end of the day it always comes down to marketing marketing and sales if you think you're not a salesperson and you're a business owner i think you're making a mistake everything comes to sales and marketing and it's never been more exciting and challenging than it is today because we're transitioning more and more to digital online virtual marketing and it requires a new way of thinking and requires new skill sets. But I don't want to get into specifics in this episode. I have in others. And if you're ever interested in some training, I can direct you or even create some that we use for the storage business. But for this episode, I want to talk about marketing as a mindset. I've given up on finding the perfect online marketing strategy for self-storage. It just doesn't exist. It's a function of the sub-market. It's a function of where the customers in that sub-market go when they search for storage, how they search for storage, what their emotional needs are as they're making decisions for storage. Marketing needs to center around the customer, not the facility, not the business, not the industry. You need to show up and show up in a way that is relevant and speaks to what that customer's particular need is at the moment they're deciding that they need storage and they're deciding who to store with. If there's ever been an area to apply a new mindset as a business owner, it's in the area of marketing. In the old days, we just used to create a yellow page ad pay however much it cost us, put it in, and we were done for the most part. Those days are long gone. The ads you run, the headlines in the ads, the benefits you offer, the incentives you offer are all different from facility to facility. At least they are in our business. Critical thinking. Who is my customer? What is my customer need today? 
and that'll be different than it was six months ago and and six months from now i know we used to think that people need storage for the same reason regardless of where wherever they are and to some degree that's valid but that won't hold the day when it comes to marketing today that just won't cut it people make decisions to do business with companies based on emotional reactions regardless of whether you think you do or not consider you do and we've got to know what are the emotional decision-making drivers in each submarket that we own facilities in and then create ads and marketing and ways of promoting our company that speak to those and test them if you're not testing one over another, I think you're missing the point and you're missing a great opportunity because we're always tweaking and figuring out what works better and better. Again, marketing today requires a new type of mindset, one that puts you in constant learning mode and constant experimenting mode. Now, I'm writing this as much for me and my company as I am for yours because we're learning how to navigate this new world and be relevant and grow and expand during this time. And I'm convinced we can, and I'm convinced you can too. None of this is rocket science. It just requires a new way to relate to the business. If you think you know what's going on in marketing, and you're in my market area and competing with me, great, keep, keep that up. If not, I think we can all just create a new way of relating to innovation and marketing, and that's gonna propel our storage company into the next year. There's still no better business in the world for the small investor than the self-storage business. It just requires new ways of thinking and new ways of running our business. Let's learn those together over the next year. Thank you very much. My name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage, and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer, financial analysis tool we use every day as we're looking at storage opportunities. If you're using Excel, great, but I invite you to look at the Storage World Analyzer. StorageWorldAnalyzer.com, creating wealth through selfstorage.com. So I look forward to being with you next week.